Hi, this is Dr. Khan. May peace be upon you. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about, oh my goodness, my marriage is falling apart. What do I do? Oh my goodness, my marriage is falling apart. What do I do? I'm going to talk about quick, simple techniques that you can take to uh, help your marriage, okay? Firstly, and most importantly, you have to commit to making your marriage work. It starts with a conscious decision of making it work. Please write this down. Secondly, you have to let go of the resentment, okay? So if you want your marriage to work, you must, must let go of the anger. You must let, let go of the resent, the hatred. Basically, you want say this to yourself. I, he, from here on, I forgive you. From here on, I forgive you. I send you love. That's the level you were at when you did hurt me or you did certain things. That was your journey. That was your test. It's not personal, right? You need to close up those wounds fully. You need to close it up fully. You can't ling let it linger or go back to th certain things that happened five years ago or, or six years ago. You have to let go of the resent, okay? You really do. Okay, next. You want to do the actions that your partner you want from your partner. So for instance, if you want your partner to be more kind, you need to be more kind. If you want your partner to be more loving, you need to be more loving. If you want him to exercise more, you need to be exercising. So you need to basically set the standard, okay? So whatever you're looking for, like let's say you're looking for more romance in your relationship, you need to initiate that, right? Basically one part, the, the partner should be, either partner should be setting the standard okay so you should be the so decide to be proactive and and set the positive standards okay moving on if you are committed to making this marriage work you need to think positively about the marriage right so don't think about anything that you don't want to happen in this marriage right so don't think about negative outcomes within the marriage think about positive outcomes so you're you have to be very very careful about what kind of thoughts you entertain right or you ruminate over about your marriage okay so don't think about anything you don't want to happen negatively in your marriage okay think of positive things instead say i am going to have i i have a great marriage i have a the most loving partner right because then you're 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 uh, inviting that type of energy into the marriage right okay moving on so there's going to be certain um, partners choices or ways that you cannot change there's going to be certain um, aspects of your partner that it will it, it, you can't change unless they really want to okay so during those times when your person is, your partner is, is engaging in this type of behavior obviously not I'm not talking about abusive behavior I'm not talking about uh, just you know dis, extremely uh, dysfunctional behavior I'm talking about uh, just other things that might get in the way right within your marriage on a lower level you want to be you choose something positive or fulfilling to do at that moment right so let's say your partner is particularly engaging in something that annoys you right uh, or just bothers you for whatever reason it may be you choose to some, some either leave the house right or choose something positive or fulfilling to do at that moment like work on your goals okay that will help understand that marriage is like a job all right it ta it takes work it's not something that you just it, it, you know you just get and that's it right oh it's not like a, a ring that you just got as, as a gift and that's your ring no it's actually a job so you need to work at it just like in the morning you go to your work you go to work and you have certain assignments and to complete certain um, roles that you must play the same exact way that's how a marriage is marriage is a is a job so if you need it to work you need to ha plan your date nights you need to go to couples therapy right even if you have a great marriage couples therapy helps your marriage right uh, take real actions to help your marriage in instead of wishing versus hoping where I wish you know things will change I wish my husband went to or uh, or my wife went to therapy with me no there needs to be real action that's being taken that's hoping hope is when you you both of you are committed and both of you are actually taking action to help your marriage versus wishing like oh I wish she does this or I wish he does this or he did this no 
you need to be taking actual action also under also internalizing this that life is short so why do you want to be in a daily state of misery in within your marriage there's couples who just have this regular this have pa developed negative patterns where they're still holding on to resentment or they just or just it's just become habitual where you know it's they're primarily in a pouting state over just being content right and they get little glimpses of love and affection why don't why not changing that state instead of saying and, and say you know what life is short why am i holding on to this i'm not going to live like this anymore so changing your mindset about how you want to both live on a daily regular basis right because this person is in your house uh, or or you, know, you guys are in the same home so how do you want to live on a daily basis do you really want to be mad at each other all the time you know these are questions that you want to ask uh moving on if you don't heal or aren't aware of your trauma and upbringing, both of you will reenact your childhood. This happens a lot of the times when you start your marriage in the first two years. Um, some of us, if we grew up and um, we've had some trauma in our life or you know difficult upbringings, you might reenact that. Many of the time, you, you're going to reenact that within your marriage if you haven't really fully um, healed. And even if you did heal, you've done your you know uh, process work within, because you are put back in, into a, a family dynamic, which is your new dynamic, you again may subconsciously, both the, the female and the male, or both partners are going to be, re, will, may reenact this if you're not aware. So if you see negative patterns developing, ask yourself, hmm, am I reenacting something from my childhood? Am I reenacting something from adolescence or uh or am I repeating things that I've seen my parents do? Is this how my mom and dad interacted when we were in the back seat and they were driving? So these are questions that you want to ask yourself. And then if you do see that pattern developing, you need to go see a therapist or talk about it and be aware of yourself and how you're how both of you are doing that, okay? And reminding each other like, "Hey, you know what? Uh are you, you know, reenacting something that you're, you know, there's some patterns that you're bringing from the way your mother used to be or your you know or, or your your stepmom used to act like you're so just being aware of that uh, set the standard on how the house will be run laser focus on your vision for example the kids the rules have your finances straight okay so this is another very important um, uh, aspect so regardless of your partner you as an individual have to set a positive standard for your home okay so you want to make sure that you have you know you want to have a laser focused vision so it may be living in kindness right rules and rules and uh, routine right cleanliness finances must be straight so you guys you know you have a way where you go you check each other you check on your your credit score right you don't let these go in under the the back burner Certain, certain expectations and standards must be in place for your household to be run you know, in a healthy way, right? So you do regular credit checks, right? Where both of you sit down and check and work, look at your money. You look at your credit. Like, hey, how's your credit? Let's look at my credit, right? So there's no surprises, right? There's couples who go five years, 10 years, and ne they never check each other's credit, right? They, they never follow, they, there's no type of vision right so you have to have a, a healthy vision of what you want your marriage and your household to look like very important right put on put a put on some um you know nature sounds put on meditation music put on you know happy songs on that may you know positive songs on that will you know bring uh you know that will put your household in a, in a good state right dance have fun be silly so again set the standard you set the standard regardless of how the other partner is acting okay uh, get the junk out of yourself okay basically you want to develop healthy habits right when you increase positivity in your life the negativity negativity will have to come out okay either either the partner will get on board or leave the energies will collide basically so let me explain what I mean so let's say as I was saying that you want to set the standard right set the bar of a certain way that you want your household to be now if you work on yourself right you get you work on your uh, 
uh, anything that you didn't heal, any any trauma that you faced, or just you know bad habits that you've developed. So once you work on yourself, let's say you're e exercising regularly, you're going to see an individual therapist, right? You're um, getting your mindset ready. You're praying. You're uh, having a good relationship with your children, where you're spending one-on-one -on -one time with each child. You're taking them out. You're you are taking your nature walks, whatever it may be. When you start developing those healthy habits. Your partner, there are two things will happen. One is you'll able to be able to detect dysfunction right away and stop it. Number two, because you'll have a clearer vision. And number two, the partner will have to get on board or have to leave. Because when your positivity increases, only invites more positivity, right? So the negative will have to get out of your life or get on board. Do you see what I'm saying? So if there's negative dynamics within your relationship when, or marriage, you're going to basically it's going to wean it out it's going to like it's going to it's going to not it it will either it'll be it'll just it'll the person has to get on board if not they're gonna it's just not gonna work all right because you're setting the standard okay excellent excellent job okay next moving on laser focus list you have like i said clear vision is extremely important so as you're moving on within your family you want to have a laser focus list where it's very clear when you write it down you put it on somewhere on a paper let's say on an index card and post it by your desk or on the refrigerator this is something that you will see right you are going to um, you're going to uh, increase you're going to have it in your in a visual field right so you you'll see it like okay let's say your laser focus list is five five things or less that you're going to focus on like buying a house uh, healthy and emotionally healthy children uh, a healthy marriage whatever it may be right uh, it's something that has to be there so again you're what you're doing is you're fo you're narrowing your focus on positive aspects of your family life versus the negative aspects which your mind can run wild with right so write it down right make it concrete right once it become con it's con concrete it's attainable okay excellent exercise 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 I cannot it cannot uh, emphasize this more exercise helps release the negativity it helps uh, increase positive hormones in within you so you're easier able to communicate better with your partner um, easier to able to deal with the stressors within a marriage or home life you're able to have better um, uh, responses when you are exercising so this must be part of your life I'm, I again must be part of your life motivational videos you need to get your mindset ready every morning so just you as you get your um your your body ready you need to get your uh, your mindset ready again putting yourself in a, in a good mind in a good state of mind right that makes you more powerful okay uh, healthy habit list so just like you have your laser focus list you want to have a healthy habit list like what does that look like right and make a list of things that you might have negative habits that you might have developed recently right like eating junk food or whatever it may be and then ways you can uh, uh, replace that with right and do this intermittently again why because the more positive you are you invite more positive things into your life and you're able to detect dysfunction okay you're able to nip it in the nip it right away right because if you do not do that it spreads to your children it spreads to it, it just it just it's it spreads like fire okay excellent moving out so the zone out technique <laughs> this technique is sometimes you're just going to have to use because listen you are not always going to agree with your partner and your partner is not going to always agree with you and sometimes he or she may get in that mode and they're just talking and talking and it might be a, a parenting method that they 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 want to emphasize and you don't agree with it you just and and then you and you know that it's just going to go into a cycle a cyclic conversation so sometimes you're just going to have to zone it out like pick and choose your battles really sometimes you know when you're this is a technique as especially like particularly uh busy mothers right where you just have to just zone it out like that let somebody talk it's not like it's not like that you're disrespecting them but just you don't want to engage they're in that mode right their pain body has just come 
come within come about right their, their energy is where this is it this is what they believe and that's it so if they're in that mode where this is what they believe and that's it you need to say oh okay mm -hmm. yes I understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what so what so what what you don't have to get into it right so and use the zone out technique when it's necessary and it it might be necessary at sometimes at, at points and this might be even within within your own family when every, there's so much happening and the kids are running wild and you just have to zone it out sometimes zone it out right to keep your peace right you're aware but it's just a zone out technique where you just blur it out for a little bit okay moving on don't tolerate any dysfunction walk away address consequences so again as I said that when you start developing these healthy habits and you are uh, increasing positivity in your life you are going to detect this dysfunction right away right because you won't have a blurred vision you won't be so tired and, and drained right where you don't have the energy to resolve things you will follow up you will be consistent because you've cleared up cleared out a lot of that uh, blurred space right so now in, within your family there's certain things that you do need to address right away I mean whether it's cursing whether it's disrespect whether it's put down whether whether it's uh, finances that are just not being handled the right way you you will you have to address it right you have to address it you if there's certain behaviors that keep continuing that are you know again just getting more and more negative you need to give consequences you need to sometimes even walk away for a certain period until things are cooled off or you know um, and then get a professional in there which I said therapy must I, I believe you know good great marriage or not great marriage individually or couples everyone should be seeing a therapist couples and individually um, especially if you're in a marriage extremely important it helps your marriage so as I was saying um, you definitely do not want to tolerate dysfunction because dysfunction only leads to more dysfunction and spreads like fire which I continue to emphasize so and then again your children are watching right so uh, these are certain techniques that you can use to help you right uh, again it starts with you it always starts with you it always starts with you your vision of what you want your marriage to look like it starts with commitment right it starts with being committed make a conscious decision that hey I'm going to make this marriage work right I'm going to make this marriage work uh, so I hope this has helped this doesn't pertain to just marriage and pertains to any you know relationship within your household uh, that you may want to improve so I really uh, hope you can again uh, take some of these strategies or all of them and really implement them again they include right first we talked about you know just letting go of the resentment making a constant decision to make the commitment uh, envisioning a positive marriage right uh, find using techniques such as zoning out or uh, zoning out or um, just understanding that sometimes you can agree di agree to disagree right certain things like this will help you immensely okay so take care and I hope to see you soon and I really hope this has helped um, God bless you and stay well take care